Is Marc Jacobs worth it? This is the micro version of the tote bag from Marc Jacobs and the first item from that brand. I was very excited when I read the description of supple leather outside and contrasting leather interior. Upon arrival, my feelings tell me this is not real leather. I see and touch to a more of a plasticky material, but we're gonna see in detail as soon as we open this bag up. Let's see what they did. First glance, this looks like a nice leather. It's an embossed, pebbled, shiny, standardized finish, but leather has a nice touch to it. It's gonna be easy to clean, in my opinion. Craftsmanship looks really, really good for the price point, as well as the accessories. But as we open it up, we will know more.
Edge paint of this uh, material is pretty good. They have enough layers to cover uh, all the visible parts underneath, so it's it's soft enough and it doesn't come off, so flexible enough too. So edge paint is pretty well done in this craft. Let's apply the acetone to remove the finish and see what's underneath. It says inside leather contrasting leather interior. So let's see what is this one about. Supply a good amount everywhere. It's not breaking apart. So basically it's a finish on the back side of the, the leather they used here. It's a thick, very strong coat of plastic. I believe this is, what is it referring to, polypropylene. This is sticked on the back side, the suede side of the main leather employed here. That looks like leather, but actually it's not, it's the inside. Upon removing the finish on top of this leather, we saw that there is a good um, thick layer of plastic finish on top. Pretty standard, but it's it's nicely done, I think, with the embossed pebble grain, a nice shine and touch to it. It will be very protective against water and other contaminants. You can easily wipe off, clean this, and it's going to be pretty resistant against scratches, looking new for a long time. Very typical standardization for a lot of mass market fashion brands. So underneath leather choice is pretty good. I see the substance of the leather, the tannage and the softness. It's very appealing. I really like the leather. And the description was saying inside contrasting leather as well. I was very suspicious of the plastic feel of this inside. I was thinking this is a PU leather laminated inside. But actually what they did here is they finished the back of the main leather, the suede side of main leather. They basically laminated it with a plastic, uh, I believe it's a polypropylene material here. There's a label as well. So it looks like leather again, but very plasticky. It's not two different materials. It's just the back side of their main leather finished with this plastic protective layer. I see about five square foot of leather being enough for this project. $20 is my leather estimate. It's a very clever design. There's not much outside support materials needs to be used in this project, yet still quite a bit of steps to put it together. $60 for the assembly and hardware. In total, $80 should be able to give us a bag of this sort in leather, hardware, and assembly. Now we open the bag up and we know what's going on in the inside material that looks like a lining. It's actually very smart and clever way of finishing the back suede side of this main body leather. Looks like a lining different material and on the website it says leather and if I was shopping in person I would have asked five times if it's leather and they would probably say it's leather and I would fight with them. <laughs> because it doesn't feel or look like leather. It's very plasticky. And we both are right, I think. Um, this is the plastic layer laminated on top of a leather suede. Technically, it is on a leather, so you can call it leather, but it's not a separate lining material uh, from my standpoint, and it's not leather uh, from that sense. It's not as bad as I thought initially they were advertising as leather and they were using a PU separate lining material. So that's not it. I am relieved to know that. Given my estimate of $80 to make a bag like this, I think the price of $325 we paid is very fair for this bag. They use about a four multiplier for their pricing strategy for a brand of this size and fame. I think it's very, very fair. I love the leather selection. It's standardized, but still feels and looks like leather. Upon removing the finish, we saw the nice fine cow grain underneath. 
very clever of refinishing the suede side to make it look like a easily cleanable maintainable lining is super smart this bag has a lot of clever features packed into it it's one of their iconic designs i believe comes with very good leather very nice assembly edge paint construction and and craftsmanship i am quite impressed for the price tag and the quality of this bag from mark jacobs